Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and boy oh boy do I have a replay for you today. Uh, it's a replay where I'm playing in my cat B. As you can see I'm currently running it with Ophelia. Simply because surviving that extra 5 seconds might actually allow you to double tap an enemy for one more time. As well as the my Ophelia gets um, some turning speed bonuses which work really nice with the cat bees very good acceleration uh, retrofits wise uh, going for vision and the rest is pretty much all about making the gun work and 50 50 for ammo I mean it's a cat bee with the reload of 13 seconds per shot so you're not really gonna run out anyways uh, so without further ado let's dive into the replay so here we are loading into the battle as you can see it's on moscow tier 10 and i'm playing with uh, 01346 who is also uh, a part of our battalion this is actually the we've actually been playing like quite a long time together like at least one or two hours already and then suddenly this game came along as you can see it's not full teams, it's only 7v7, has to do with the fact that it's uh, it's 1am my time here, uh, UTC plus 2. Which means that like the queues are pretty much uh, kind of empty. I mean most people, like the main player base is actually based in Europe and most of those people are sleeping already. The glorious cat bee with its flags. So yeah, the Cat B has actually been uh, nerfed uh, from its previous state. It used to be literally one of the best tanks in the game. But it's been nerfed pretty hard as both armor on the lower plate wise as well as the DPM has really got a big nerf. Yeah, so here, uh, I mean, my, my cat bee has got a 50, around 50 kilometers an hour top speed. But the funny thing is it's both uh, forwards as well as in reverse. So I'm not afraid pushing aggressively because I know I can just use my 360 degree smoke and reverse if I have to. As well as in this case, I actually have my support from... Uh, zero and a healthy amount of other MBTs from our team the XM is actually pushing upside instead of down so I'm thinking okay what can I do to maybe shoot the XM once or twice I get spotted and there you can see the 360 degree smoke which is actually super useful. Because like regardless of where you're getting spotted from. You still get unspotted. And it's actually the only smoke that I know of that will actually instantly turn you unspotted. there actually hold my shot uh, because of the 13 second reload I mean you, you need 26 seconds to completely reload this thing and here I'm just poking wide and I hit the ERA on the second shot so it didn't pan But yeah, I noticed we're getting capped, so I kind of expect the Type 10 and the XM there to no longer be there. And as I poke up, I notice that's the case. So I switch the heat. And I'm gonna give this 490 a little surprise. I receive one shot in return, but taking one shot for doing 2000 damage is not a bad thing to be honest. There's zero, 
shoots the 640 and I finish him blind. Here I see the smoke is running out, so I actually pop smoke in order to give Zero some cover. And that actually helps her preserve some HP as well, which is gonna come in really handy for the next part. Guess we're gonna be engaging three targets with just the two of us. So as you see, I expected the type to be on the other side. Uh, but he was to the left there. Thing is, I managed to bounce both shots. Which is pretty sad. Uh, that's one thing with the cat B that it doesn't have is accuracy. So, Especially if you don't aim. There I hit the track and I really wanted to finish the Type 10. Type 10's got quite a lot of DPM as well as the clip potential of course. So as you can see in chat I'm letting uh, Zero know how much my reload is. And she let me know in uh, platoon chat that she was going to take the damage. And here I'm seeing, okay, she's taking a lot of damage. Um, and since I now have more HP, I smoke for her. And I'm gonna be the first one to push in, given that I also have Ophelia. I hit the ERA there. And there I see, okay, the XM is actually shooting zero. So what I do is I pop my smoke, so Zero is unspotted, but the XM is still spotted for Zero, because I'm proxy spotting the XM. And here I do the same thing, so I'm still proxy spotting this XM. Uh, however, Zero is completely invisible for that XM. Here I'm just trying to use the wreckage. Yeah, so there we've pulled back uh, 2v... I think it's a 2v4 situation. Back to a 2v1 actually. However, the challenger got the rear of zero and I'm out of smoke. So, as I have Ophelia, I know I can take one hit. And when I have AP loaded, the side is always an easy pen. And this is where Ophelia also comes in handy with the turning speed as well. So that was the game. Let's go to the results. And ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. So as you can see, ended on 8.8k damage, 4 kills, a uh, healthy amount of uh, both experience and credits. Must be said that I was running a booster and the Cat B is a premium tank. So that always increases the income. And here you can see that it was pretty much our platoon that did everything this battle. Like, we killed pretty much the entire enemy team. Only other thing that got a kill was the T14. And we did 17... What am I saying? 18k damage out of the 24k damage that the entire team did. Um, so yeah, the, that goes to show that playing in a pl platoon plays out. Um... Keeping your teammates alive also really helps. I really like the way that uh, Zero offered to take uh, damage. So I could reload and shoot free damage. And then the way we switched it around. When she got low on HP. And I took the damage. And I also used the smoke to protect her. So yeah, pretty nice game. Uh, as I said, it's like 1am here. So this is the last thing I'm going to do today. For those of you that watch this in the night, have a good night. Uh, the rest of you have a good day. See ya.